Welcome to video two of the development of our tri square on Autodesk Inventor. So what we've done is we've made the handle. Um, we're now going to make the ruler part of the tri square. So to do that, we're making a sketch. Um, make sure we're selecting the top plane and then turning it around. Um, again, this is just going to be a rectangle. So opening that up, and now this rectangle is going to be 125 tab uh, by 20. Okay, so there we go, we've got that one. Um, and now to make it fit in that gap, so if we look back over here at our drawing, to make it fit in that gap, we know that gap is one millimeter wide. So we're going to extrude this to one millimeter. So three mil extrude, we're extruding that to one millimeter. And there we go, it's quite small, I mean thin, sorry, um, but that's the size it has to be. So the next part we have to do is put the hole in the end. Okay, uh, and to do that, what we're going to do is make a circle. We'll put it about there. Uh, now this circle size is five millimeters. Um, from there, what we need to do is use the dimension tool to dimension where we want it to be. So we want it to be um, ten millimeters in from the edge, and we want it ten millimeters in from the other edge. So we've got it from the ten millimeters in from the end, and we want it ten millimeters from the edge. Oops, that didn't like that at all. Okay. So let's try one more time. So from the center to the edge. Cool. Well, almost had it. Off by 0.3. All right, there we go. 3D model extrude. So we're going to do this circle. Remember, we want to cut this one out. Okay. And because it's already set as one millimeter, it'll go straight through. So that's that edge part done. Um, now for the final part, what we're going to have to do is create an assembly. Now to do that, you come up here to where it says, um, well, new, your new, um, icon and then you go to the arrow next to it and you want an assembly okay and as you can see it's giving you a, a different toolbar up top here um, and a, quite a few different tools up top above it as well so I'm going to put, in a, put one in I'm going to place a part um, so from there you need to find your part so I'm going to uh, where was I in resources for me Nope. Here we go. So we can choose out of these. So I've got my stock there. Open and place that. All right. And if I want to place more than one, I've got it still there. Um, okay, but I only want one. Um, we'll move that around. Cool. So as you can see, it's in there. Um, so now we want to place a blade part as well. Um, and what you can actually do, you can rotate this. Oops. There we go. So it's somewhat facing the right way. Okay. So as you can see, when you play stuff, it's not very easy to get them perfectly in the right spot. Um, but yeah, it'll be okay when we do all of our constraints. So now what we want to do, we actually want to do our constraints. So we're going to constrain this edge to the inside of this edge. So that edge, and we'll need to flip around and get constrained to the inside of that edge. Just like that. So it'll flip itself around and constrain itself to that edge. And if you go OK, and then that's all happy. It'll still move because it's only constrained to that edge. So as long as it's touching, it's actually happy. Okay, so the next part what we want to do is we want to constrain um, this back edge here to that edge there. And that way it'll be stuck in there and won't move. Um, the thing with it is though, it'll still move up and down because I've only got on the edge, not on the bottom yet. So what I can do though, I can now constrain my final constraint, which I might actually move it up so it's a bit easier to see. So I'll move that up a little bit and then go to constrain. So you can see I want it to be locked down the bottom, don't I? So if I constrain that edge to that edge and go OK, it's all done. And so now it will only move as a flawed object because I've placed it all the way in there. OK, and that's how you do that one. Um, and then when we save it, 
you'll notice that it's going to save now as an IAM file. Okay, so keeping it as that, um, try square. Okay, and we'll save that. And we know it's together.